today I'm showing you how to make ham. Let's go. All right, guys, we're going to start. So you have three different sizes in cups, and you have to have three different sizes because the snowman has three different sizes for his lower body, upper body, and then head. All right? They are all sunny cup like this. If you're in Trinidad, you can get it at any store whatsoever. I purchased all of mine at Massey stores. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate for you how to put it together. You're working with the eight ounce cup and you're going to start like this. So you're going to take two of your cups like so and you're going to put glue along one side and you're going to stick it together. But you're not sticking it together holding it up like this. You're sticking it together down like this so that you ensure it doesn't stick like this or this or this. So you grab your glue gun, you put a generous amount of glue, you put it down and then you join it with another cup, making sure the front, um, the tops of the cup are equal and the bottom. Then you're going to take another one, put glue on this cup, make sure it's in a straight line and then you're going to put it down and join it. counting the cups just now. Now this is important to make sure that you have sufficient cups to make the globe effect that this will take. So this is the middle and the middle one takes 19 cups around the base of each of the halves. So this is a half, this is a half. The base is what I call this. So the middle section takes 19 cups and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put everything in the description to how many cups you'll need for each section. So this is 18 cups. I, I could put it together, but don't. To get the right size and the right angle, believe me, I've done it. You should have 19 cups on the base of um of, of the second section of the snowman or the middle section, I should say. Right? So I'm gonna put this here. And if you hear any banging, um, there's some work going on at my house. I hope it doesn't bother you. <laughs> One. Then to join them, I'm literally going to raise this one, put lots and lots of glue here, open it, and shut it, and that's it. So let's make another row, right? So you're going to put glue on this, like this, and stick it to one side, making sure it also touches the other side, the other cup. So you're joining these like this. So you're not joining it on top like this. You're joining it in the groove between the two cups. I have my trusty little helper, Chase, as usual. <laughs> He's going to pass me cups. So the first rule is 19 cups. The second rule is 17 cups. So I already have four, so I'm going to continue doing the cups. So Chase is going to pass me a cup. Thank you, Chase. And I'm going to put some glue on and stick it to the next cup in line. Now, the first one was in a groove, yes. But as you continue building, they will start coming on top of each other. And that's okay. That is how it's supposed to be. Don't stick all of them down as yet. Leave it up and wait until you have all lined up properly. And then you'll stick them down. I'll show you how. All right, let's go. All right, so we have another row that we've done. It's open, it's not um, stuck down as yet, and that's on purpose because we want to make sure that all of our cups are lined up perfectly and now i'm gonna stick it down in certain areas so you don't have to stick down every single one i don't stick it down so what i'm gonna do now that we know how it looks and how it's gonna be mocked up and it looks good i'm gonna just put a big dab of glue and stick it down make sure everything is lined up properly and i'm gonna continue doing that
meter, you saw, so all the bottom should touch down here, and then it looks like this. This is the one in today. This is the one from my last year, and they should fit perfect. See? And it makes a, a ball. So that's for one, the middle, the upper body of the snowman. Um, let me bring it down so you can see. Right, this is for the upper body of the snowman. Right? So you see it has one, two, three, four rows of cups. So in the um, in the notes, I'm going to explain to you exactly how much cups you'll need for each row. And therefore, you will be able to get this perfect shape of a circle for your snowman. So I got some sticks from my tree. This tree is really good to get sticks from. And now I got two twigs for the arms of my snowman. So to put on the arms, all you're doing is you're putting a whole bunch of hot glue on the end of the arm here. Just a whole bunch of hot glue and then you're sticking it like so. And you're holding it there for a minute so it sticks in. Let's put the other arm in. Same thing, and stick it in. So you see, it looks so cute. show you how it looks lit. So as your snowman you need one um, setup. I have icicle lights but you get any light but get it with a white um, string and not a green string like the one you put in the um, Christmas tree because it's nice. Mine has a white string because you can't see it in the inside. Right? So to light the snowman you'll take his head off, get the end, the cord, and then get everything else and you're going to stick the lights down inside the snowman. Now I just passed all the lights through the snowman and I pulled out the plug at the bottom. You already see me illuminated, it's so beautiful. And I'm gonna so what you're doing is you're snap, you're pinning once again my trusty green <laughs> miniature green close clip. You're pinning the top of the lights to the top of the head. Let me show you. Let me turn off these lights in here and show you how it looks. Look at that. He is so cute. I call him Mr. Frosty Pants. Let's get you a good look. So this is the hat, scarf, eyes, nose, buttons. He's all made out of ducks. <laughs> how cute is that? He's well lit and he looks so cute. So here's me and Frosty saying thank you for joining us. Me and Frosty fans. Thank you for joining us while I continue to decorate my house and do crafts and have just the most fun time for Christmas this year. Remember, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, especially if you try it. I like to know when people are trying the crafts. It's so much fun and just fun for me. And uh, stay crafty, my friends. <laughs>